Hi everyone, it's Wednesday, November 12th. I'm Katie and alongside me is Anthony, Brady and Abby with the weather. The support campaign for Mr. Maynard, who has recently been diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer, is going strong. Mackenzie, Emery and Sarah have more on this story and how you can help. At the beginning of the school year, one of our most beloved members of the John Carroll family, Eddie Maynard, was diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer. This was a huge challenge for Mr. Maynard, but the whole John Carroll community is supporting him through prayer and fundraising. We spoke to Mr. Maynard and several other faculty members about their reaction to his diagnosis. You can wonder why you got it 15 million times over and you'll probably never get an answer to it. Um, I think that we in the enrollment office, we boast about how this place is like a big family, and everybody at John Carroll responded the way that a family would. It's amazing to see how many people rally around a cause, um, and in, my, in, a, in particular, my family. Um, you know, you really kind of underestimate that, and I mean, I totally have. So I think, you know, I think it's great for the school. I think it's great for you guys. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm already doing my part. Here. Um, it's more hard not having my friend here. Yeah. But um, the everything else just seems to work itself out, and everybody in the building helps as much as they can. So mm -hmm. it all gets done. I'm very close to Mr. Maynard, so um, any any support that he needs, any way that we can help him through this process, uh, is an absolute joy and a pleasure to uh, to be a part of it. He is really one of the, the greats of our school community. Uh, alumni know him, parents know him, uh, students know him. John Carroll can be incredibly giving community. For example, our Thanksgiving food drive is well underway, working toward our goal of 7,500 items. There are always more and more ways in which you can make a difference. Here are just a few. Katie, could you tell us about uh, Harford Habitat for Humanity? I sure can. All students are invited to attend Habitat for Humanity workdays on November 15th and November 22nd from 8 to 3.30 p.m. Work will be performed in the Aberdeen area and an exact location will be coming soon. Direct service hours can be earned. Please email Grace Lee to obtain additional information. So Brady, is there a chance I can adopt a grandparent? <laughs> yes, there is, Katie. If you need an easy, flexible, fun way to get direct service hours, join the Adopt a Grandparent program. You can adopt a lonely resident at the Rock Springs Assisted Living Village and visit them. Contact Grace Motley at motgray17 at jcpatriot.org for more details. Katie, you like kids, right? I do, I do. And if you enjoy working with children and teaching them how to solve problems in hands-on experiments, you should join Miss Limmer and other students on Mondays from 2.50 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. at St. Joan of Arc School in Aberdeen. You can earn direct service hours and have fun by helping first to third grade students in the Juniors Engineers Club or the 4th to 8th grade Lego League Robotic Club students. Miss Limmer can be reached through email or find her in the back office of the library. Uh, Brady, what's a trellis student? A trellis student specializes in serving individuals who exhibit development, language, and communication, social or behavioral deficits. Trellis students arrive at John Carroll in the late afternoon for about three hours each day. Our school, our after school program provides learners ages 10 to 21 with the opportunity to develop social skills in a group setting. JC students can report to the faculty lunch room starting at 3.30 p.m. or to the media center at 4 p.m. to work with trellis students after school. Come for as long as you can to spend time with these students. Please see Mrs. Strawbridge for more information. And finally, students are reminded during the school year to submit service hour forms within a month of service. All forms must be signed and submitted to Ms. Strawbridge. Do good work and get service hours for helping. Mock trials 
will hold its first practice today at 2.50 p.m. in room 220. All are welcome. Any questions, please speak to or email Mr. Connolly at sconnolly at johncarroll.org. The Chinese Club is back. The club meets in room 129 every Thursday from 2.40 to 3.30. All are welcome. We'll see you there. Also, the John Carroll Class of 2016 is hosting the Junior Class Yard Sale this Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., rain or shine. Come see what amazing deals you can get on all kinds of exciting items. It's that time of year again. The Crabs for Christmas raffle tickets are on sale now. We are raffling off a bushel of steamed crabs from the seafood stop slash crab, crab truck and a bushel of crab related goodies. Tickets are only $2 each or three for $5. Please contact Ms. Willen or Ms. Ferry to get tickets. Are you missing anything? Check our lost and found. Several items of clothing, clothing, textbooks, and other items are accumulating in the main office as well with, as with Ms. Craft in room 204. Most recently, a pair of glasses were found in the weight room. Please see Mrs. Fogarty in the main office or Ms. Craft in room 204. Thank you. The women's basketball team needs team managers for this season. Please contact Coach Simmons with any questions. The school store is now taking orders for team jackets until Tuesday, November 25th. Order forms are available at the school store. Now over to Abby with the weather. Oh, hello. It's Wednesday. <laughs> 62 degrees, a little misty throughout the day, cloudy. Tomorrow it will be partly cloudy and 48. Friday we'll have partly cloudy, it will be 44. And Saturday it will be partly cloudy and 44. And Sunday it will be cloudy and 46. Now back to the desk. <laughs> Rain down here and it will come up to here, that's where we are. And now back to the desk. Thanks, everyone, and have a great day.